Hmm. I've got to do this right here. Uh, almost, almost. We almost got it. How am I doing? How am I doing? Hello, everybody. As you may have already been able to see or tell, I've got my Mercy hoodie on. Oof. Uh, brand new Overwatch character. It's that guy, Baptiste. Um, devs have confirmed, and as well as Baptiste's voice actor has, has confirmed, it is pronounced Baptiste. B you, you pronounce that P in there, Bap, Baptiste. <coughs> Baptiste is a, uh, a Haitian, uh, sort of a, he is a French Haitian orphan who... Uh, uh, his parents were killed in the Omnic attack, and he had to do what he had to do to survive, which included um, going over to Talon. So he was a Talon operative for a while. He became a medic and a crack shot, and uh, uh, and then he decided to come to play in a video game. So here he is. Uh, you're too long, didn't read for this one. The buttons are really crazy, so listen up. Crouch is going to be on L1 slash left bumper. Jump is going to be on L2 slash left trigger. Your three round burst gun, your weapon, is going to be on R2 or R trigger. And then your healing grenades are going to be on R1 slash left trigger, or slash, sorry, R1 slash right trigger, or right bumper, I'm sorry. Uh, regenerative burst is going to be on X or A. And then your immortality field is going to be on circle or B. And then your alt is going to be on, on your triangle slash Y. Let's get into it. Let me show you how he works. Um, I have been messing around with this uh, button mapping since the update came out. <clears throat> Look at that. And then I already have a new skin on him. I think it looks so good. I really like how it looks. No dying on my watch. So, all right. So, think you're going to make it. <clears throat> let's go over his abilities in earnest. So, first, we're going to start off with this passive, which is called Exo Boots. You crouch with L1 uh, slash L. Sorry, you crouch with L1 slash LB, and then you jump with L2 slash LT. Uh, I'm holding down the crouch button right now, and um, when I let go, it the the sorry when I let go, the crouching power will remain for one second. In which case, I can jump, and you can jump really high. You can get to the top of this building here. Look at that! You can even make it to the top of the rail. So he jumps incredibly high. There is no cooldown for this, and uh, yeah, you just gotta hold it down, and then go. If you don't wait for it to be charged up all the way, that's fine. You can still jump up a little bit. The reason why we're putting these on the left side is because I think this is the sleeper hit mobility that people are just going to love. Without this, Baptiste is kind of like Ana, and he doesn't need to be like Ana. So when you're crouched, you could still aim. You know, you could fight off attackers while you're, you know, getting that getting that sick jump and getting out of dodge there. <clears throat> so that's his passive. Uh, you could you could cancel it by crouching again. So if you didn't like it, you decided not to jump, then you know you could just do that and then you can jump again and you'd be fine. Uh... <clears throat> Let's talk about his biotic launcher, the gun side. So, so there's the gun side and the healing side, or the damage side and the healing side. Um, they just call it biotic launcher, so kind of confusing. Uh, I did have it on RB because if you look at the gun... The gun has the bullets coming out on top, and then... It, so let's take a look at... Uh, let's see if I can do his heroic here. So see, see, see the gun on heroic, <clears throat> on the heroic stance. There's the t there's a top barrel that sticks out, and then there's a bottom barrel that you can't see. And that top barrel is his bullets, and the bottom barrel is his biotic grenades. So 
um, I did have it to where like I had LB or sorry RB R R1 being the gun, but that that didn't work quite well. Uh, and and I had the the healing grenades on the RT uh, R2, and I just did not like that. So I ended up changing it back to to normal. So so we shoot like this. We we shoot um, with with right with right trigger. <clears throat> Let's talk about his gun. It is a three round burst hit scan, like a pulse rifle from Destiny or a battle rifle from Halo, if you remember those. It does twenty five shot a bullet and seventy five a shot. So seventy five there. Uh, headshots are double. It satisfying. is very powerful. One, two. Oof. If you land all those headshots, two two shots there. Uh, you can hold it down, and it'll just it'll just go. <coughs> the fall off is 20 to 40 meters, and the minimum a bullet will do is 12.5, a bullet or 37 and a half per shot minimum. So right. The three-round burst is the shot, and then the bullet is the... Uh, it has 45 ammo, which you can see, which is 15 shots per clip. Uh, it does 113 damage per second. It does have recoil, as you can see. It goes up, but then it goes back down. You could also, you know, you could also correct this if you want to. They, they say that as you get better... I, I've been not doing this at all, but they say as you get better, you can control how that goes... So you can reduce the spread as you get better with it. Has a one and a half second reload time. Now it's biotic launch or heal side. I've put this on R1 slash R2. Here it is. <clears throat> it is an arcing explosive projectile. It does not bounce. And... It has 10 ammo. It does 75 heals per second. Um, but I believe it does 80 heals a shot. Let me check that out here. Uh, let's wait until they get really low. Actually, let's use the immortality field first. So here they're at 40, and then I hit them for that much. 25, 25, 50. So I think it does 60 a shot. I think it might do 60 a shot, but it ends up being... 75 heals per second. You cannot self-heal with this. <clears throat> so if I take some damage here and shoot the ground, I will. it will explode and heal the allies around me, but it won't heal me. It will... Uh, yep, 3 meter radius, no healing fall off. So you'll get the same amount of heals whether he's getting it or not directly. <clears throat> when you reload, it will reload both healing and damage clips at once. And at the end of my explaining his abilities, I'll actually go into the menus and explain how everything is, is set up. <clears throat> Let's talk about his first ability called Regenerative Burst. You put this on X or A. It does 30 heals per second over 5 seconds for a total of 150 heals per second. It affects everybody in a 10 meter radius, including you. So this is your self heal, right? Uh, it is on a 15 second cooldown, and uh, it is applied. You need you need line of sight for the ability to activate, and then let's see if I can do that. <clears throat> oh, so I guess I wasn't even in line of sight with, for those guys. So you need line of sight for the ability to uh, activate, but then once you, once it hits you, it's not an aura. So you can you can go behind, you can go behind walls and they'll still get the healing there. <clears throat> now let's talk about immortality field. This is quite a thing. You throw a projectile. I've heard. Diva cannot eat it. Actually, I've seen Diva not be able to eat it on PTR. Somebody said that she would be able to eat it, though, so I'm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, you throw a projectile. We're putting this on circle or B. The projectile has 250 health. Allies, all allies in the IM field are protected from going below 20% of their HP. 
if you're below 20%, you will instantly get 20% HP when going into the field. So <clears throat> if you're a tracer and you only have one health, if you make it to the immortality field, you'll have 20% of your health back. It has a six meter radius. It lasts for eight seconds and the immortality lasts for eight and a half seconds. This is important because you can save allies from things like um, you can save allies from things like uh, Junkrat's Tire. <clears throat> and that's what that half second is for. So Diva Bomb, Junkrat Tire, this will save you from those. Let's see, it cannot be eaten by D.Va or reflected by Genji. It ignores barriers, but you must have line of sight. It can be hacked and it can be shot down. So what that means is if you've got people fighting over here, what you can do is place your immortality field right there and then shoot here and notice enemies wouldn't be able to hit it, right? If they were over, over in that area. <clears throat> Let's look at his alt. Ampli amplification matrix, which is on triangle slash Y. Uh, you create a square that doubles all damage and healing, doubles all base damage, this is important, and healing if it's a projectile. It can be placed up to 35 meters away, so very far away if you want. Uh, five meter width with a four meter height square. It lasts for eight seconds. It doubles, and then, and then explaining it a bit more, it doubles the base damage of the attack, not the total damage. Uh, and it can be destroyed by EMP. So what does doubling the base damage mean? What that means is <clears throat> my shot, right, is 25 a bullet or 75 a shot. It will double that to 150. I call that a professional. Get this. It will double that to 150 a shot, uh, but it must go through the barrier. And there are several videos that explain exactly how it works if you have questions about what abilities can or can't work i'll be happy to tell you um <clears throat> let me tell you some of the the odd things that happen so baptiste's whole kit works the shooting and the uh, the the shooting and the healing grenades all work anna's all work her her shots that go through it do double healing and double damage and they and the nade does double healing or damage and then the sleep dart also but the sleep dart only does like 10 damage anyway so who cares um or five damage i think reinhardt's <clears throat> sorry reinhardt's fire strike is doubled but his hammer swing is not and his charge himself as a charging sort of train is not doubled brigitte's entire kit does not work with this ability. Don't even worry about it. Uh, the ability also doesn't shield you at all. Let's look at this. <clears throat> so, shooting you, one shot, and then one bullet will heal them up completely. Here's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, so that's his ultimate. Let's take a look at the settings now. Let's go to options, controls, Baptiste, the sensitivity, it's whatever you make of it, you know. Um, oops, sorry. The sensitivity is whatever you make of it. Uh, I do have a video that goes over that in detail. Reticle, I leave that on by default. It seems fine, pretty fine. Allied health bars on. Uh, recoil, re recoil, a recoil, recoil, recovery, aim compensation. Leave that on. Automatic reload. This is a this is an option for Baptiste because he has two different uh, two different ammo pools. Check out his ammo pool. His gun has 45, and his healing has 10. Now, what happens if you just keep healing and healing and healing, and you run out of bullets? Well, normally, uh, it's going to reload for you at this point. But what if you're still good to go, and you're like under attack? Well, you can still shoot this way. So, I advise that you turn automatic reload off. So that way you can access both clips all the time without being locked into a reload animation. For movement, normally the default is toggle crouch on circle. 
or B. I put, instead of putting something on toggle crouch, I put it on crouch. So that way you have to hold it. So that way you're not you're not tapping the crouch button all the time. You could just let it go and then hold jump and then he'll jump really high, right? Uh, for jump, L2. Ability one, that's X. That is his regenerative burst. Boom, think like Lucio's amp it up, which is also on X, if you follow my videos. Ability two, this is his, um, I call it his frisbee, right? His um, immortality field. Put that on circle, kind of looks like a frisbee, right? His alt on triangle, of course. Interact, very good. Primary fire and secondary fire. Very good. So <clears throat> that is it for Baptiste's button mapping guide. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if uh, I, I will be doing a stream shortly thereafter. So um, yeah, you can, you can see that there. And uh, yeah, have fun out there.